o'clock hour of Night Line live with Marion Tony. I'm excited to uh, share a little bit more about my mom with you tonight, Mary Sloan. And uh, she's um, just released her new album, I Kept My Praise. So she's going to be sharing a little bit more about her heart behind those songs tonight and why she wrote those songs and sharing a little bit of her experience in the studio. And so I know you're going to be looking forward to that. She's also going to be singing several of the songs from her album that she wrote. So I know I always hear people say, I want to hear your mom sing more. So tonight is your night. I want you to share it on Facebook um, and just let your friends and family know that the one and only Mary Sloan is going to be singing tonight. So I know you're going to enjoy it, and I'm just going to go ahead and hand it over to her. She is going to sing the title of her album, I Kept My Praise. Oh, I found that secret place 
That was my mom, Mary Sloan. That is the title of her album, I Kept My Praise. I know you've enjoyed that. Um, as you saw on the screen, you can get her new album on iTunes and Spotify and YouTube. So she's going to be singing some more songs um, from that tonight. We just wanted to take this time to, for you guys to hear a little bit about her. And she's been in ministry um, well, for all of my life, and well, I'm 45, so, <laughs> um, so that, Mom, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. So I'm the guest. You're the guest. I'm the guest. Okay. You know, we should have thought about this a long time ago. You've been in ministry long enough for you to share a little bit. Um, you about to tell my heart. age, though, Tony. You're 45. Oh well. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about the song, I Kept My Praise, and where you wrote that from, from your heart. Well, you know, people will really never know what it takes to, to bring a whole album together. I mean, a lot of times you just feel like giving up in the process of it all, and thank goodness I didn't. It took about a year to complete it, but um, I just felt led to name it, I Kept My Praise. Um, it says in Psalms 34, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, it didn't say I can, I'll bless the Lord sometime, did it? It said, I will bless the Lord all time. And his praise sometime will be in my mouth? No, it continually be in my mouth. So I just knew that that was the song that I should have the title album after. And, you know, Tony, we go through a lot of ups and downs in life. We've all been through it in different ways uh, in the past few years. And uh, we have to know that we have to keep our praise, our joy, our peace. If we allow the enemy to, to take that from us, then there's, there's probably not much hope. We've got to have joy. We've got to have peace. We've got to have love. And I look at the things that even you and I have gone through the past few years and I lost my mom, I lost my dad to death and then I lost my sister and I lost a brother-in-law, I lost a niece not long about you, you know one of your closest friends, your niece Lori and then um, right at two years it'd be since daddy well, has been gone, your daddy. And you know, that's six deaths. And sometimes it's hard to keep your praise going during that time in it. You just want to sit around and cry and feel sorry for yourself. But actually, that's what you're doing. You're feeling sorry for yourself because they've moved on to what we talk about, that new heaven, that new life. Well, I think that's, it's a timely, you know, with this album coming out, it's very yes. timely for what everyone's going through right now. I think that we can all be reminded to yes. bless His name at all times Amen. and to keep our praise right now especially. Now, you had a special guest that is a good friend of yours sing on this album. Tell us a little bit. Tell us who it was and then how you met. And well, um, it was Billy Gaines. Um, I had uh, been asked to come to the Atlanta station and... Uh, sing on Nancy Harmon's program, The Jesus Connection, and she kept inviting me back. I think I went to three or four of them. And uh, Billy happened to be at one, and that's when he was married to Christy, and Christy actually passed away a couple of years ago. But I remember when Billy went down to sing his first notes. I mean, you know I love Billy Gaines' voice. It was like, oh, an angel from heaven singing, and I'll never forget, I looked at that his wife and said, wow. I mean, she was standing there with me and singing with me in the ensemble yeah. at Christie, and I said, wow, what a voice, what a voice. So 
Anyway, uh, I just knew Billy had to do the second verse on that song. Now, I sang the whole song here, but if you get the album, you'll hear Billy Gaines well, Let's pop up it. some pictures for those who are not familiar with Billy Gaines. Um, <laughs> he's been on Nightline with us a few times. Yes. Um, so he is saying, and we've spoken with him. He's been on several times. When right. first time with Christy came with him. Um, and and then one. you and him sang together uh, yes. as well. We sang I Kept My Praise. Yeah, night. and so that's exciting. And now he's traveling doing some things with yeah. Kathy Lee yeah. Gifford. He just has been asked to travel with Kathy Lee for her new tour. He's won Dove Awards, been nominated for Grammy Awards. So, and on top of that, he's a great guy. That's awesome. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a really neat thing to have him on your album. Um, so you're getting ready to sing I'm Told, mm -hmm. which is another song you wrote. So yes. tell us a little bit about that before you go sing that. Well, you know, the Bible tells us many things. He tells us He loves us. He tells us He cares. He wants to hold us closely. And I just kept thinking of those words. He cares. He wants to hold us closely. He's always there. And we don't have to ever wonder where He is because He lives inside of us. I think, actually, we've got some pictures, too, that uh, I wanted to show. Well, let's show those after you sing because... Oh, okay, you're going to show those not, later? Yes. Okay. I am in charge tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell about one, one thing in the song, though. Okay. One of my favorite lines in the song was... As far as the east is from the west, that's how far he's removed our sins. And you know, you and I have brought a little study on mm -hmm. Nightline on that, where the north ends, the south ends, but the east is infinity, the west is infinity, it goes forever and ever. And that's how far he has removed our sins. So that is in the song. And when this life's over, guess what? I'm told that it's not over, it has just begun. <laughs> Well, I know you're going to enjoy this song. Just like Mom said, you know, our sin is removed from the east to the west. There's a reason that the Word says the things it does. There's nothing that's coincidental about God's Word. And listen to the lyrics of this song and just let it bless you. There's my mom, Mary, singing, I'm Told. I'm told that you listen, and I'm told that you care. I'm told you hold me closely and always be there. And I'm told that your love stretched out upon a tree. And I'm told that you love me beyond my capacity as far as the east is from the west you have removed my sins i'm never alone cause you're my closest friend and when this life's over and my race is run I'm told that it's not over, oh, it has just begun. Oh, I'm told to watch and pray and keep my eyes on you. I'm told to never give up, that you would see is written in the book of life and i'm told that you will say well done at the judgment seat of christ oh as far as the east is from the west you have removed my sin and i'm never alone cause you're my closest friend when this life's over and my race is run 
I'm told that it's not over Oh, it has just begun I gotta go and tell somebody What Jesus did for them I gotta speak the word with boldness It's all about Him Jesus is the answer Oh, when you're hurting deep within, I'm told I gotta go. Oh, I'm told I gotta go. Yes, I'm told I gotta go. And tell what Jesus did for the That was beautiful. That was my mom, Mary. If you're just joining us, she's sharing a little bit about her heart behind her new album, I Kept My Praise. She's just saying, I'm told. And mom, I wanted to, didn't, didn't your sister Edith sing on I'm Told on the album? She did, she did. I just felt like I wanted her to sing on that song and she went in and did the second verse. So when you buy the CD or the uh, download it on iTunes, then you'll hear Edith on there. Yeah. <laughs> so not only did you get to go record your album, you know, my cousin Rob, your nephew, Rob mm -hmm. Tripp, has the Family Room Studios there, and that's where you recorded in Nashville. Right. So just tell us a little bit about your time there with family and well, friends. Well, um, it was fun to go in. There's a picture of the studio right there. Uh, my uh, nephew, Rob Tripp, he owns the family room. And that's right outside, Rob in the red shirt. Right, right outside. Singing background Nashville vocals. in Gallatin, Tennessee. And uh, then that Sarah Delane uh, back, beautiful voice. And then that's one of the Hensons. Everybody knows the Hensons. Well, that's one of, that's Matt Henson on the right there. So they really brought some good harmony behind it. But mm -hmm. uh, Edith did sing on that, I'm told. Now Edith is, was, I kidded her with her and I said she had to be in the studio if they could show that picture of uh, Edith up there and just keep showing these pictures right now of the studio, that would be good. Um, but um, I kidded her and told her that she was my co-producer. <laughs> so there she is. I, I had to get a picture of her as my co-producer. <laughs> I said, now you've got to be that person that stands up for me. Sometimes you need that person in a studio because a lot of them just, you know, they everything's good to them, but yeah. I want some truth. Right. <laughs> so we, I think we got, there you go. And then during that, uh, after the session, we had to go eat at the chocolate strawberry and uh, that's Edith and I there. Everybody likes to do some eating when you go to Nashville. <laughs> that's right. No meeting without eating, as Narvis says. <laughs> and that's just, uh, you know, some of my family there that I got to be with while I was in the Nashville area. It's always fun to hang out with them. And then we went to Terry and Kim's house. There's Terry and Kim's house along with Edna and uh, Edith there. And uh, so just had a fun time, you know, just a fun time. Brent, and there's Laverne and Edith there. And uh, just not only in the studio, but family. Just enjoyed family time right. at uh -huh. the family. Yes, uh, family room. Family room studios. studios. Yes. <laughs> well, that's nice to have a family yes. who mm -hmm. has a studio and you can enjoy time like that. Now, the next song, um, before I say the title, I'm sure people think, hmm, does she write that about herself and <laughs> grin a little? It's called I Love Being Mary. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, you know, I do love being Mary, but this song is uh, not so much about my name. It's about a person in the Bible. It was her. She was Mary, of course, but it's not about the name. It was about her heart. And uh, that's so not about you, about Mary. Right, right. So I couldn't get away with I love being Tony. It wouldn't work. <laughs> well, you could actually say I sing I love being Mary because, you know, it's all who about doesn't want to be Mary right. and have that kind of a heart that worshiped so much? What know? inspired you to write that and like the well, thoughts that came to you? 
Um, you know, we listened to Janis Shostrand's song years ago, Alabaster Box, which was beautiful too, but I just got to thinking about Mary herself, and, and I went and, and just pulled some things up about her. When I read about Mary in the alabaster jar in the Bible, she left to pour every bit of an expensive jar of perfume, which at that time was about a year's wages. Mm -hmm. And she, she poured all that on Jesus, you know, and it come to a year's wages. And um, even Judas said this could have been sold to feed the poor, you know, and he was robbing from the treasury. Sometimes we don't realize people that are on their knees and don't be so bad to criticize people that, you know, when they do love to worship, you know, because she was poor and all she had out. And Jesus even said in that scripture in John, I think it's John 12th chapter, he said, her sacrifice will be remembered forever. And you know what I read, Tony? That that is the most told story in the Bible of mm. Mary who washed Jesus' feet and poured out all she had on him. And um, it, it just was, it took me about a year to finish the song, actually. But I just feel like it was just meant to be written. I just kept getting all these words. Well, on that it. is, a, you know, an incredible just story to read in the Word because mm -hmm. people didn't understand right. why they judged her for what she was doing when she was doing exactly what Jesus you know, exactly. loved and expected mm -hmm. and wanted from her. And she was just being obedient. Right. So. He told them, leave her alone. Mm -hmm. Even in my song, I say that. Leave her alone. She's doing what she needs to be doing. Do you know the rest of them are working? A lot of times we're just busy, busy, busy. And we forget that we have to rest and take time to just sit at his feet, you know, mm -hmm. and pour everything we got on him. That's mm -hmm. good, Mom. Thank you. Well, my mom is going to sing this beautiful song. So I want you to just sit back and let the words minister to you. Um, and I know this will touch your heart. It's called, I Love Being Mary. Sitting at your feet, I don't ever want to leave. I'm enjoying every moment. Just kneeling at your feet There's comfort knowing I can relax and rest When I pour my oil on you Give you my very best And I love being Mary What more? I long for than to worship my Savior and on Him I pour and when I'm on my knees before the King worship is what I'll bring and I love But my Lord said, leave her alone. He saw so much more. This alabaster box of ointment full of costly perfume. Oh, I poured it on my Savior. And the fragrance filled the That I long for than to worship my Savior and oil on Him I pour. And when I'm on my knees before the King, worship is what I'll bring and I love. I 
Well, if you've enjoyed listening to my mom sing, she wrote all of these songs on her album, I Kept My Praise. You can um, find out more about her album. I, I, I know she has a website, ProductiveRhythm.com, um, but also this album is available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and then the good old-fashioned CD. I know you can reach out <laughs> to her through her um, email address there, Mary at ProductiveRhythm.com. But mom, we have, um, I guess, a little over a minute. Why don't you just share with our viewers why it's important to worship? Well, you know, Tony, it's, it's about just pouring everything you got out on Him. It's about completely, complete surrender unto Him. It's about His presence. And you know, out there, you can sing this same song, I Love Being Mary. It's not just for me, just because my name's Mary. It was about a heart of worship, and that's what she had. And I just speak to you out there tonight, and I don't know what you're going through tonight, but I can tell you one thing. When you begin to praise, give Him the praise, give Him the worship He deserves, because He gave His life for you on Calvary. And He said that for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, and if you believe in Him, you shall have life also. So if you're not a Christian, I invite you to come to Him in Jesus' name. We love you tonight, and thank you for joining us here on Nightline tonight.